Citrus greening is one of the most serious citrus diseases in the world. Once a tree is infected, there is no cure. In the United States, the disease is transmitted by the Asian citrus psyllid. Controlling psyllids is the first line of defense in managing citrus screening. Periodic applications of pesticides can help, but natural solutions are also sought. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services is at the forefront of finding methods to control the spread of the disease. The Asian citrus psyllid arrived in Florida in 1998, and with few natural predators, it quickly spread throughout the citrus-producing areas of the state. Two parasitoid species, Tamarixia radiata and Diaphorensirtus allegorensis, were imported from Asia by the department in the University of Florida. Both species underwent comprehensive testing and were found to be target-specific, posing no harm to any other native insect, and were approved by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for release in 2000 and 2001, respectively. The focus of this video is Tamarixia radiata, a gnat-sized wasp which is being mass-reared by the department's Division of Plant Industry, Methods, Development, and Biological Control Bureau in Dundee and Gainesville, Florida. The 30,000 square foot Dundee facility houses plant and insect rearing chambers, greenhouses, laboratories, offices, and maintenance facilities. At Dundee, over 2 million Tamarixia are reared annually. The Gainesville Rearing Laboratory produces 1 million yearly. Efforts are underway to increase this number to 4 million annually. Here is a brief, step-by-step -step account of how the rearing and release takes place. During this process, both the pest, the Asian citrus psyllid, and the beneficial parasitoid, Tamarixia, are being produced. The process starts with the selection of healthy, insect-free, newly flushing orange jasmine plants from the 8,000 square foot greenhouse. The potted plants are transported to the Asian citrus psyllid rearing house. New, soft plant flush is required for egg laying or off a position by adult psyllids. Once inside the psyllid rearing house, the plants are placed into clean cages. Based on the level of flush of the selected plants, three to 4,000 adult Asian citrus psyllids are released into the cage and allowed time to off a posit on the new flush. Cages remain undisturbed for approximately three days. After three days, Egg-covered plants are removed, and any adult psyllids on the plant are aspirated off. Plants are then moved to a grow-out cage to allow time for eggs to hatch and nymphs to develop to fourth instars, which requires an additional 7 to 8 days at approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the psyllid nymphs have reached their fourth instar, the plants are loaded onto caged carts to prevent psyllids from escaping, and moved to one of several Tamarixia rearing chambers. Plants are placed into a cage, and depending on the psyllid infestation level, 300 to 600 adult Tamarixia are released into the cage. The parasitizing process involves the Tamarixia depositing one egg between the thorax and abdomen of the psyllid nymph. The neonate Tamarixia then proceeds to consume the body of the psyllid nymph, completing the development process under the psyllid nymph shell. Starting at 10 days after the release of Tamarixia into the cage, wasp offspring begin to emerge. Cages are then covered with a black cloth to darken the cage except for two small plastic jars attached to the clear acrylic cage top. Periodically during the day, the collection jars are removed and replaced with new ones. At the end of the workday, the covers are removed to prevent overheating of the cages during the night. This step is repeated for up to eight days. After the eighth day of collection, plants are removed from the cage and all remaining Tamarixia and adult Asian citrus psyllids are aspirated into small plastic vials. Plants are removed and taken to a large screen house. There they are trimmed, washed, and sprayed with organic soap and oil. Plants are then placed into a caged cart and placed back into the greenhouse for recovery and eventual reuse. All insects collected from the cage, whether daily in the jars or by aspirator at the end of the cycle, are sorted the day they are collected. 
insects are taken to a sorting hood and released. The sorting hood consists of a five-sided white wooden box on a bench top. A technician sits on a chair at the open side of the box and drops a black cloth behind them to ensure the box is dark, except for the front light, and to prevent insects from escaping. An aspirator is then used to sort and count the insects. Tamarixia are placed in a shipping vial containing a honey-soaked paper towel as a temporary food source, to be sent to the field for release, while adult psyllids are sorted out into separate vials to be reused in subsequent rearing cycles. Now it's time to put the Tamarixia to work in the environment. In addition to releases in commercial groves, it is beneficial to release the Tamarixia in dooryard environments to encourage the establishment of populations throughout citrus-producing regions of the state. Homeowners can request Tamarixia be shipped to them, free of charge, if the homeowner has at least one citrus tree or any orange jasmine plants, and they do not apply insecticides. An application is available online at www.freshfromflorida.com forward slash TRA or by calling the toll-free helpline at 1-888-397-1517. This biological approach to reducing the population of Asian citrus psyllids is effective, but only one component of the integrated pest management approach being taken to protect citrus, Florida's signature agricultural crop.